A warm welcome back. Simon here at the Hounhall Shooting School, based on the Cowdery Estate in West Sussex, continuing on with our new series, The Basics. This is where we try and cover all those small details and answer all those silly questions for people who are just coming into the industry, starting shooting, or indeed are at a novice level. Now, you've turned up to your first clay shoot and you're given a scorecard. Sounds really silly, I know. How'd you fill it in? What's the stand numbers? Where the shots go? So on and so forth. Just let me run through. Nine times out of 10, you'll be given a scorecard that's not dissimilar to this. Numbers across the top, numbers going down the side. Basically, the numbers down the side denote the stands and the numbers going across the top are related to the shots. So you can see on this one, there's 20 stands and normally we'd shoot up to five pairs, which in, indeed is 10 shots. What key do we use? Well, if you were a competition shooter and you were shooting what we call a registered shoot, which is where your scores go into a, a mainframe and become part of a league, normally there'd be a referee scoring and their set key is to have a dash for a kill and a zero for a miss. Now, if you're just out shooting with friends and just having a bit of fun, you could have a tick and a cross. You can make up your own key as long as you all use the same key so you don't get confused. That basically covers a scorecard. Stands down the side, scores across the top. Nice and simple. Put your name on and uh, keep those as a record, actually, because it's good to refer back to in the future as you start progressing with your shooting and indeed building scores. And if you're shooting at the same ground, you can actually get a pattern on which targets you're getting to grips with and the others that maybe are more of a challenge. So it's a nice record to keep. Now, when you come up to said stand, there's a little bit of terminology involved. And that relates to in what order and how the targets are thrown. Now there's three main types. On rapport, sim pair, and trailing pair. So let's just break those down. All stands will have two targets. So let's suggest there's an A target and a B target. If we were shooting the targets on rapport, once you're in the stand, nice and safe, ready to shoot, you'd shout pull, and somebody else would release the A bird, bang, and then the B bird, bang. You don't shout pull for both targets. You shout pull once, and then the A is released, followed then by the B target. We're usually a small delay in between. Let's say you come up to a stand and it says sim pair. Well, what that means is a simultaneous pair. So in effect, when you shout pull, said button person would press both buttons together, or it might be wired up that there's just a single button that fires two traps. So in effect, sim pair or simultaneous pair is two targets at the same time. Now and again, you might find a third style, which is called a trailing pair. And that normally relates to one target being thrown twice. So in effect, might just be one button, target A, the buttoner on the shout of pull would press the button, out comes target A, and then with a small gap in between, press the button again, and again, you're given target A. So that's called a trailing pair, two of the same targets, one after the other. So just a quick recap. On rapport, A, then B. Simultaneous pair, A and B together. Or a trailing pair, could be either A or B, but twice. And with that knowledge and the ability to cleanly fill out a scorecard, you can then parade around the shooting ground or the clay shoot and, uh, and have a great time and uh, know that you'll register everything correctly and fully understanding what's going on with the button. Remember to stay safe and enjoy your shooting.